What is up, guys? This is Anthony with VR365. I am back in Eden tomorrow. And right now, as we speak, I am inside the robot Newton. This is his view of, of the situation. You can see his two little hands that are floating out there in front of me. And basically, I am in the cave of this sleeping slug kind of a monster thing that is in Eden tomorrow. And I just blasted open a hole in the wall, which will allow me to get inside here. I honestly don't know exactly what my strategy is going to be. Um, inside Newton, you do have the ability to move around very well, very quickly. You can hold down the left the left uh, L2 trigger button, the bottom left trigger button on your DualShock 4 controller, and it will allow you to kind of zoom through this world pretty quickly. And so this is where I was. I was inside this cave system, and I was looking for a way to get in to where the giant slug monster is, and I finally just blasted open this opening right here. Um, right down here I, I blasted this open so now I have an opening in here but I have a feeling that this thing is gonna eat me the second I try to zoom in there but I gotta do it so I'm just gonna have to figure out a way to zoom in here real quick and see if if I can avoid being eaten by this gigantic slug so here we are we are in the chamber of the slug and not sure what my strategy is at this point, but I'm going to look around. Maybe I need to blast these things on the wall here. I'm going to try doing that. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm supposed to grab the med kit, but where the heck is the med kit? I can't find the damn med kit. Like, I've looked everywhere for the med kit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do this whole thing again. I'm gonna blast this. And I'm gonna blast over here. And I'm gonna blast over here. Try to use my radar. We need to distract oh. this worm, whatever, if we could somehow make a distracting noise. Get the med kit. Okay, where is the med kit? the med kit. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I hit this.
Okay, wow, that was crazy. Like, that was a lot of drama. A lot of drama to get this freaking med kit. I hope this guy is happy, because damn, that was... Now then, change back to you and deactivate the safe zone so we can get you patched up. Don't move. That looks great. Maybe you can even run on it. Catch me if you can. Okay, try to catch Newton. Hold L2 to run. Hmm, oh wait, here we go. Yeah, so I can run. And I'll tell you what, you know, just looking at Newton from where I am over, I'm trying to dial my PlayStation VR headset in. PSVR headset has a very small little sweet spot, so you really got to dial it in to get that good sweet spot. And I'm looking at Newton over there, and I would say right now he's about, uh, man, I'd have to guess like 35 to 40 feet away from me, maybe 35 feet. And pretty fuzzy, pretty Vaseline covered. I'm really happy that you're doing better. Now all we need is a way out of this cave. Find a way out of the cave. Oh, shit. This worm, whatever, is really angry. Do you see that? We could make it to the other side. Come on, quickly, before the huge worm gets here. So it would be best to go slowly. Sneak pass. Okay, here's one of these balancing bridges, which I think kind of sucks. Oh, I guess I could just run right through it. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, 
Suddenly you don't weigh anything at all. Currently I have no explanation, but we are in an anti-gravitation zone. I am trying to find a course out of here. Dead body. It reminds me a lot of that picture in the cave. There is a red eye of fresh blood. It is true that those reprogrammed malicious drones kill their owners and then take blood from them with these syringes. What kind of sick shit is this? I'm going to find out who's doing this and end it. Hopefully, in this case, however, someone had good arguments against it. I have to watch Newton closely. In my current state, I would have no chance if he attacks me. But he seems so damn caring and confused at the same time. I think our crash landing worn him out, at least as much as me. Okay, so yeah, the dead body. So Newton is an issue right now. He's acting in my best interest. He seems to be acting in my best interest, but I also feel like he's going to turn on me at some point. So right now, I'm in Ghosts of the Fallen. I've just gotten into Ghosts of the Fallen, and um, I'm floating in space right now. I'm just floating out here. There's Newton right there above me. He's using his two little hands to kind of guide me along. I see dead bodies. I seem to send a tracking signal, but to whom? Why aren't they attacking us? It almost looks like they're afraid of something. But what could a creature like that be afraid of? That's it. We're not going to make it. Just a minute. That's a scarecrow. A 150 meter tall scarecrow. Somebody really wants to fend off those flying monsters, which is understandable. I guess we'll find out soon. I've got to land. The range extender is almost up. Well, here I am. Boots on the ground, baby. Boots on the ground. And there's my buddy Newton right over there. And you know what? I'm playing this game standing up. Like, you should be standing up if you're playing this game. If you want full immersion, you're standing up. I can go ahead and snap turn, and I can look back upon this magical space junk situation that's going on here. I can walk around. I've got full body inverse kinematics i'm looking down at my feet and honestly one of the things i'll say about this game eden tomorrow of all the inverse kinematic games i've played that have given you feet when i'm looking down at my feet i kind of almost feel like i'm looking down at my feet so this is pretty impressive i like this inverse kinematics that is going on i also i like this game a lot now Last time I was talking about it, I was saying that it's not really a game. And I don't know that it is. This is more of a cinematic adventure is really what it is. But I still, I'm enjoying it. Um, overall, I think, it's, I think it's worth the, you know, this is going for 20 bucks. I did get a key for this. Full disclosure, I did get a key. I did not pay for this. And I have to understand that real money is real money is real money and 20 bucks i think this is probably worth 20 bucks but i'm a sci-fi guy i'm into sci-fi 
And I like these kinds of worlds. You know, I like this kind of a situation here. I like my little guy, Newton. I do wish that I had legitimate hand presence. Like, it would be nice to actually put my hand up in the air. It's too bad this game does not use move controllers. It, it's a bit of a, a wasted opportunity here. But this is pretty cool. This is Eden Tomorrow. We are in, I believe, the third level of the game. We are past the demo area. Not sure how much of the game is left, um, but I am enjoying myself. And let's go ahead and see what happens. Now, here's one of the problems of the game is, like, I have no weapon. So, like, right now at this current point in time, I am simply somebody walking. I have no freaking weapon. My only hope is that Newton has his little shock blast. That's really all we got. You know, I don't have a gun. I don't have a knife. I don't have any agency in this world right now. I'm just a walking, discombobulated dude. I mean, I do have a body here. I do have an actual body. And so I can look over here and check this out. What is this? Okay, let's check our menu. Voodoo Drone. These crazy or malicious drones have red eyes, just like in the cave paintings and the first drone to attack me in the cave. It would be conceivable that the formerly well, the formerly well disposed drones would turn against their owners or just anyone after their reprogramming and then get those red eyes. These natives seem to know that too, but I don't think they're responsible for it when I look at the needles. On the contrary, I believe they are destroying these drones because they are also under threat. Okay, uh, Voodoo Drone. Yeah, so, you know, they have this backstory that's going on in the game, and you're kind of discovering clues. I do see my guy in the in the in uh, his shadow over here. My head. <laughs> Look at my head. Whoa, lean back, lean back, lean back. <laughs> my head is, a, I've, I'm a little bit Frankensteinian. Frankensteinian. I'm a little bit Frankensteinian. I kind of feel like a zombie man. My head is very turned to the side. I got my tilt going real well. But you know what? I love shadows in VR. Now, I want to be able to raise my hand and wave. I'd like to wave. I'd like to say, hi, everybody. This is Anthony with VR365. Unfortunately, no hand presence. So all I can do is shake my head. Hi, everybody. This is Anthony from 3VR365. That's all I can do. But, uh, you know, I continue to explore the incredible world of Eden Tomorrow. Welcome to Eden Tomorrow. It looks like the inhabitants of this village have only just fled. The fires are still burning. We should be careful. Okay, so 3D audio. I'll tell you this. Newton... His voice right there sounded like he was standing right next to me. That's a little bit disappointing. I'd like a little bit better 3D audio. I'd like it to sound like Newton was like 100, you know, 100 feet away from me even farther, which is what he is. But, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? Hi, Newton. How are you doing up there? I really like your orange and blue design. Orange, blue, and gray really looks nice on you, Newton. Okay, oh, look at this awesome village, y'all. A little bit of that Vaseline shimmering is definitely going on. Shimmer City, really. Those aren't people. They're machines. And it seems like they're looking for something. I think the sound is destroying the rocks. We don't have much time before everything collapses. Follow me! Okay, this is a downhill skiing mode. <laughs> that was close. I'm doing my Lindsey Vaughn right about now. Follow me. I'll follow Master. you, bruh. 
Jump! A liquid is filling up the capsule. I believe my days are numbered. <laughs> oh my god, I can't breathe. Alrighty guys, I'm now in a new level. This is called Paradise Lost. And I don't know what just happened. I was in some type of like facility where they were talking about I was gonna feel like I was drowning. And now I seem to be back in this alien world here. Not sure exactly what is going on, but I will tell you this. I like the graphics of this game. This do, it feels like an alien world. This does have a Mars feel to it. It does remind me of Farpoint. But this is kind of more like, uh, what is it, John Carter of Mars or whatever his name was. You can see you got spears that have uh, damaged a Newton. I don't have my Newton with me either. You know, I was jumping to try to grab Newton and I don't know what happened. Now I'm here in this world. You've got dinosaur carcasses Help. in the sand. Please, can you hear me? Hmm. Nod your head for yes. Motion sensors. Nod your head. Luckily, alive. I've been captured. Look for me. Stand. Okay, so he's telling me to scan and look for him. And, but first, I just want to enjoy this freaking Tatooine world I'm on, you know? This looks like Tatooine. I like this alien world, Eden Tomorrow. This game is not very interactive. Like, there really isn't that much interactivity that's happening with this game at all. Um, it's lightly interactive, more of a VR experience than anything, but they did create a Can pretty... You hear me? They did create a pretty banging ass alien world though. I really like this. This is kind of Mars and a little bit of uh, Mad Max combined. Look at this giant dinosaur bones, you know, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet to be sure. Okay, so I'm supposed to do a scan. So I want to hit the circle button. This will scan the area. Uh, not really getting any kind of readings right now. Help. Oh. Please. Okay, this could be a trap as well. Now, I, I can also go into AR mode. I'm going to hit the square button. Okay, nod your head. Yes, yes, I nod my head. Okay, so we hit the square button. This goes into AR mode. And we get a little bit of a different look, but I'm not really seeing anything there. I can go ahead and run fast. I have run capabilities. I have free locomotion. And I've got inverse kinematics for a full-size body, which is pretty cool. What I don't have is a gun. What I don't have is hand presence. Um, that would make this game a little, little more okay. badass. Scan. Scan. Okay, yeah. I'm looking for you, Newton. Newton, I love you so much. Where did you go, Newton? I must find you. 
You are my friend. And you have such personality, and you're probably the best part of this entire game, so I better find you. Because you are quite entertaining, I will say that. Newton is the best part of this game, I think. Oh, you know, one thing I need to mention real quick is we just did this downhill sliding thing where I was basically Lindsey Vaughn and I was going downhill there. Help. And I... Please. And I was going downhill there and I got to say, that was actually quite entertaining. Like so far, these early stages that go to this downhill mode have not been very entertaining. That was entertaining. So here are these creatures. I got something in my logbook. Let me check this out. Biosphere. It looks like a gigantic destroyed greenhouse or a biosphere, a kind of zoo. It must have been ages ago that plants grew here. Just the construction of this steel dome needs expertise and a lot of technology. That can't have been constructed by the same people who lived in this village that was just destroyed. Whoever built this place seems to have been missing for a long time. It can't be a coincidence that so many capsules crashed here as if something had lured them here or attracted them. So yeah, this is a biosphere and it is very loud. I probably should have had my volume way turned down for a Let's Play, so I'm probably making some mistakes. My apologies for the audio on this Let's Play, because I do have my volume quite loud. Okay, I'm going to try to scan for Newton. We are trying to find Newton, and I'm not finding him right now. Let me hit my, my AR vision. Please. We're looking for our boy. I'm going to try to head back this way. Okay, what if I go down here? Oh, looks like I got another mountain slide. Okay, so that second mountain slide right there, like really, what's the point of that? <laughs> the first mountain slide, I mean the, the last mountain slide I did that was really long, that was actually pretty good. But these short little mountain slides that only take a second, it's almost kind of a waste. But you know what? I really like this little world that I'm exploring. I will say the graphics kind of like get better and worse the closer you get to them or the farther away you get to them. The graphics are like kind of fading in and out a little bit. And there's definitely kind of a Vaseline look to everything overall. But I can tell that the developers at Soul Picks they really tried Please. they really tried to make as good of a game as they could possibly make here from a graphical standpoint giving you an alien world you do feel like you're exploring an alien world this is pretty cool i'm starting to enjoy eden tomorrow a bit more not not a lot of interactivity definitely not a lot of interactivity this is more of a slightly interactive kind of a cinematic production but really cool nonetheless a worth having cinematic production like look at this giant world that they've created here this is kind of like being in a sci-fi movie to a certain degree you know i bet you if you took somebody from the 1970s and you put them into this experience right now and had them look at everything and walk around they'd be like wow i'm in a sci-fi movie you know all we just need to do is make the graphics better and better and better, the field of view wider and wider and wider. And this is going to be the inverse kinematics better and better and better. Perfect tracking. You know, watch your radar. Okay, where is my radar? Well, I got this capability. Oh, wait. Look for me. Stand. Seems like we're getting some kind of a hit over by this tree right here. Let me try switching to uh, switching to AR mode. We're looking for Newton. We are currently exploring an alien world. 
This alien world is quite beautiful. To be sure. We are currently activating our AR mode. Oh, wait a minute. Seems like we're picking up more of a signal. We're getting... Here we go. Help! Please! Okay, we run out of AR juice after a while because I'm not deactivating it, but it just automatically deactivates. So it seems like Newton is probably up on top of this structure. That's what I'd have to guess. Yeah, I'd have to get up on top of this thing. And there is a bridge over there. Look for me. Stand. There is a bridge over there. Yeah, I think I know where you're at, Newton. I think you're up on top of there, but I got to get up there. And it looks like this is the bridge that's going to take me up there. But I don't know how I get up where I need to go. Uh, wow. So, yeah, this is pretty cool, though, that you got this, you know, nice open world area to explore. Like, I'm way off the beaten trail over here way far over in the shade. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, good buddy. I'm trying to see if I can find a way up onto that ladder up there. Um, I don't know why I'm headed in this direction, but why not? Yeah, so Newton is probably up on that structure there, and the bridge takes right there, but how do I get up to that area? I'm going to head back over. Please. I'm going to head back over to this sun area real quick. Here we are, we're back in the bright sunlight and it feels so nice and warm. I feel so good in the nice toasty sunlight. I do not see where the sun is that's providing this light, but I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy it any damn way. But you know what guys, I'm gonna go ahead and call this a let's play of Eden tomorrow. I am gonna continue to explore this, but I gotta go get some lunch. I am starving. I still have not had lunch. So I'm going to go get some lunch and then I will be back in this game and I'll check it out more later. But yeah, this is Eden Tomorrow by Soul Picks for PlayStation VR, currently an exclusive. And I think this is a pretty cool walking simulator. I really do. I, I'm a sci-fi fan and I'm a fan of what I'm experiencing right here. This is pretty cool. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this quick little let's play of Eden tomorrow for VR365. I will see you guys next time. Take it easy. Later.